With open arms, coke boy, peep the lineup I'm talking tango and cash Hit the bank, no mask Out the freezer, cold cash Put Grammy winners in cabs Never had it twice, gotta take a chance Never end, never start Got cars, I never start YTBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison And I'm back again um, guys, I gotta give a shout out to my boy Ghetto Superstar Boxing, and if you don't know his channel, I will put his name up at the end of this uh, video. But um, anyway, shout out to my boy. Listen, y'all, I want to go ahead and jump right into the topic. I am sick and tired of the corruption in boxing. Okay, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick of these corrupt judges that they're getting to to oversee these fights that can never get it right. You got superstars like you know Mauricio Herrero and Lamont Peterson who they're trying to get their careers on track. You know, they're trying to make it to where they can get the big paydays, you know. They've been taking their abuse in the ring. They've been taking those hits. They've been taking those shots. And these two guys, they can't get their career on track because you got these judges. You got these judges who running around here, you know, being bought off and being sold. And you know that's what it is, okay. Because there's no way that you can say that Danny Garcia even won this fight. He, he wasn't even remotely close to winning the fight. I gave the fight eight rounds to four to Lamont Peterson, okay? That's what I gave. But I'm frustrated because every time you turn around, if the guy is not a household name, the only way to Mont Lamont Peterson could have won this fight is if he got a knockout. And that's the only way he was going to win this fight. Danny Garcia was going to win the fight. He won the fight against Mauricio Herrera. He won that fight, but the only way... That Mauricio Herrera could have beat Danny Garcia is if he got a knockout. Think about it. You know, and then they put him in here in the ring with a Rod Salker. You know, a guy like Rod Salker. He couldn't have won the fight either unless he got a knockout. See, here's what's going on, okay? And I figured this out. In boxing, they have got their moneymaker. And they've got the people who, who they think are media friendly. And so those are the people that they're going to push. And they're not going to let them lose, okay? I don't care what you do. These are people that you most certainly have to knock out to win. Danny Garcia is on my knockout list. You got to knock him out to win. You have to knock him out. Okay? And I think Garcia knows, man. If you look when they were trying to interview him, the eyes don't lie. The eyes never lie. Okay? The eyes never lie. I think that we... In the YTBC, ghetto superstars, right? We got to do something about this. And you know what? I didn't even know how much control we had in the YTBC. We got a lot of control. I mean, look at what we did to Amir King Khan. We had him thinking twice about fighting Chris Algieri. Yeah, because we made a big stench about it. And guess what? I don't think he's going to fight Chris. Well, I think we can do something about this. I think we can do something because all we got to do, guys, we got to stop boycotting a lot of these fights, man. And I hate to say it, you know, I don't want to punish Lamont Peterson, but something needs to be done about the corruption in boxing. Okay, you got promoters running around here buying off referees. You got promoters running around here buying off the judges. You got the judges having dinner with these promoters, you know, taking them out. They, they, they're treating them out to these large dinners the day before the fight. Guys, come on. Who do you think they're going to pick? Who do you think they're going to pick, okay? Who do you think? Of course Danny Garcia is going to win. Guys, this sport needs to have a governing body. It needs to have a governing body. But see, the sport of boxing, we it is ran by a handful of promoters. That's who the sport of boxing is run by, a handful of promoters, okay? And you got people looking out for their own interests instead of the interests of the sport. It needs to be taken over by a governing body, okay? And I think even some of us on the YTBC, we need to figure out a way how to get on some of those boards, you know? You got your powerful channels like 78 Sports TV and Boxing Ego, man. I'd love to see some of those guys, you know, up in some of those political positions because I know guys like that would make the sport of boxing what it needs to be. I wish I could because I would start having a governing body over every single aspect of boxing. I would start having a gov governing body over training. I would start having a governing body over, you know, well, how many, how much time you get to train for the fight, governing body over who referees what fight. I'd have a governing body over the judges, why, how they pick. Man, I would do everything. But see, the judges are picked by the promoters, and we know this. See, guys like Lamont Peterson, I hope you're listening, Lamont. You're never going to get your fair shake, okay? You're going to always be cheated. Mauricio Herrera, you're going to always be cheated if you're not a big name. Okay, you will get cheated. I don't care how bad you beat the person. I don't care how decisive, decisively you win the fight. 
you are not going to win that fight because there is a handful of promoters that is going to hold up your career. And see, losses, they destroy your career. In the sport of boxing, boxing needs to take a page out of UFC, guys. This sport is so corrupt that it's not even funny, man. It's not even funny. And, you know, yeah, man, we get sick of it, man. We get sick of it. Because every time you turn around, man, there's a robbery. And it's been more robberies between the year 2014 and 15 than any other year that I think, man. And it's because people are looking out for their money interest. Danny Garcia is a money fighter. He makes Al Heyman and any other person associated with him, he make him a lot of money. And I'm not saying that Al Heyman went off and paid somebody off, but I'm saying it's a coincidence that he clearly lost to Mauricio Herrera. He clearly lost to Lamont Peterson. And people can say Lamont Peterson didn't land more punches. Man, look, CompuBox can be wrong too. And let me tell you something. It's been wrong before. CompuBox ain't always perfect. You you are an idiot if you think CompuBox is a 1,000% accurate. That's just not the way that is. Okay? We need to get something done in this sport, man. So guys like Mauricio Herrera, guys like Lamont Peterson can, can, cannot be just cheated at every time they take a take a take a, a turn at they're trying to fight somebody. I mean man, think about it. These guys don't duck anybody. They take on all comers. But it ain't a take on all comer sport anymore. Man, we need to get these promoters out of here. We need to get them out of the sport of boxing. They are ruining the sport of boxing and you guys know that. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.